So the biggest threat to software engineers in 2023 seems to be either AI or an economic recession. I'll share my thoughts on AI in a different video. For now, let's focus on the economy. By now, you've already heard of the hiring freezes and layoffs happening all over. So is there a big recession looming over the tech industry? And should software engineers be worried? And what can you actually do to better prepare yourself uh, if the tech economy does take a turn for the worse? In this video, I'll share some tips on how you can essentially recession-proof yourself. But I do want to let you know that this information is solely based on my own experience of being in big tech for over a decade. Uh, I've seen multiple big layoffs and I've actually been laid off myself once too. Outside of that, I do not have any insider information, neither from my employer or any other source. With that said, let's get started. So large layoffs in general aren't targeted at specific groups of people. The decision to cut headcount generally happens at a business unit level. When budget needs to shrink, the organizations that aren't making profits are the ones that are at the highest risk of being cut. But it's also not just about profits. There's also this thing called potential. Some products take years to earn positive revenue, but their long-term outlook for the company is great. Those organizations are obviously much safer in terms of impact during a recession. Consider OpenAI's ChatGPT, for example. Due to its recent rise in popularity, ChatGPT costs around $100,000 a day or $3 million a month to run. And since it was barely launched a few months ago at the end of uh, November 2022, it doesn't really make much revenue, if any at all. But even with these astronomical COGS numbers, uh, many companies are piling up to invest billions of dollars in it because of its potential. Something like this would be a recession safe org. Contrast that with an org that barely makes revenue and does not have a clear path to making significant revenue in the future, say something like Google Stadia, that would be a risky org to be in during a recession. Well, Stadia is already shut down, but you get the idea. So find out about your org's COGS, which is cost of goods sold, basically means the operational costs, and compare that with the revenue it makes to get an idea of how profitable your org is. You may not know the exact revenue numbers for your org because the ones released on financial reports generally aggregate at a higher level. But you guys are all software engineers. Use COGS with the number of customers your team has and do some napkin math to figure out the financial outlook of your team does not have to be perfect, but you just need to get a rough idea. And if the outlook is bleak and your product isn't something revolutionary, it might be a good idea to start looking elsewhere. Building up on that point, if you find that your org has a poor financial outlook or that you get wind through the grapevine that your org may get cut, it is usually much easier to move orgs internally than to find a job in a different company during a recession. Same principle applies to finding recession safe orgs to move to. Study the product, try to investigate some revenue numbers and see if they have headcount. Be careful though, because this can easily be a double-edged sword. If you make a mistake on your assumptions, you may end up being the new guy with the least amount of knowledge base in an org that is potentially worse than the one you were in before. At least in your old org, you might have built up a solid knowledge base, which would make you potentially a critical part of the team. Speaking of knowledge base, make sure you're actively working towards making yourself a valuable member of your org and not slacking off. Think of it this way. If you disappeared tomorrow, how badly would it hurt your org or your team? If it barely makes a dent, that's a bad sign. I do always advocate for reducing the bus factor, which basically means that if someone from your team were to be hit by a bus, how much would it affect your team? And for a high functioning team, the answer would be not much because of efficient knowledge sharing. However, in this case, I'm not talking about day-to-day -day functions and tribal knowledge, but larger design understanding, experience, knowledge about the product. When you have deep knowledge in all those areas, it's difficult for your org to lose you. But knowledge and experience are just one part of the equation. The other part is how you use them to make impact. How have your recent performance reviews been? Large layoffs are generally based on unbiased business and revenue metrics. And in most cases, analysis of who gets cut is done by a third party company so that it is fair and not targeted. But that being said, most jobs have a performance expectation. 
And if you aren't meeting those expectations and not growing, it's fair for a company to trim the fat during a recession. So make sure you up your game, which I suggest that everyone do all the time, but definitely when the economy isn't doing so well. But in case things do go south, you'd want to be prepared with information on which companies are hiring because during a recession, most companies will freeze their hiring. There is no really a hard and fast rule to follow here. Just be proactive in connecting with your networks and gather information from them or follow hiring trends on popular tech websites. Also to help you guys out, I've shared a link to a document in the description below that has a list of all companies that are actively hiring at any given moment. And this document is always kept up to date. I cannot take credit for this. This was compiled by Gurgli Oros, who's um, the owner of the YouTube channel Pragmatic Engineer. So huge thanks to him. Uh, I don't think he actively posts on YouTube anymore, but feel free to follow him on Twitter where he shares useful information uh, for software engineers all the time. And while at it, feel free to follow me as well at Utsavais. Aside from networking, there are also companies that can help you find really good tech jobs and even help you brush up your skills if you need to. One such company is Formation, who have also kindly sponsored this video and have been very supportive of this channel. Let me briefly explain to you what Formation is all about. Formation is an online fellowship for early to mid-career software engineers who want to join top companies like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, Facebook, and more. Formation uses adaptive technology to create custom program for all its fellows, tracking their progress and closing their skill gaps on a personalized learning roadmap. They have top tier team of engineers from Meta and Nextdoor who have interviewed thousands of candidates and trained hundreds of interviewers during their tenure. Also, you guys know how much I stress the importance of mentorship in career progression, as well as the immense value mock interviews provide when prepping for job interviews. Well, Formation provides engineering mentorships and unlimited mock interviews until you've got a signed offer letter in hand. Formation isn't just about prepping you to clear interviews though. Their fellows leave the program with the knowledge and confidence to thrive at the world's leading companies. And on average, fellows who complete the program increase their compensation by $96,000. So as you can see, a program like Formations Fellowship can be immensely beneficial to software engineers, but especially so during an uncertain time like right now. So if you're interested in checking out Formations Fellowship program, you can apply for free on their website through the link in the description below. And regardless of whether you're accepted into the program or not, you will get invaluable career advice from their assessment and a free interview prep guide that's a really helpful resource for your interviews, especially at the FANG level companies. Thanks to Formation for sponsoring this video. The next thing to do is to prepare for the worst. Sometimes you can do everything in your power and still face the ax. I've seen some really high caliber engineers laid off because of the whole division was cut. Uh, when I was laid off about 10 years ago, my company lost a huge government contract without which they simply could not stay afloat. It happens. And when it does, you obviously need to avoid panicking, refocus, and set all your energy towards getting reemployed. And you'll only be able to remain calm during such times is if you have financial security to weather the storm. So cut down on extravagant expenses, start saving more, favor liquid assets over risky investments, and try to have at least six to 12 months of cash in your savings that can cover you and your family without employment. Financial security will give you a massive peace of mind, not just during a recession, but in any point of your life. And my final advice to you is to not worry about it too much. I mentioned a few things I know can give you indications on whether your org may be in the chopping block or whether your performance could hurt you. Uh, but in general, especially for large layoffs, there are so many metrics involved, there isn't really a rhyme or a reason. Like I said before, I've seen high performing engineers get laid off and some really low performing ones stick around for the longest time. There's only so much that is in your control. So if you've already sort of prepared yourself and, and are in good financial shape, uh, constantly worrying about impending layoffs doesn't really help you in any way. So might as well stay relaxed, positive, and focus on doing the best work you can. Well, these are all the tips I have for you. Let me know in the comments below if you're worried about the recession and if so, why and what steps are you taking to ensure that you're prepared for it. And while you're here, check out some of these other videos that I think you'll enjoy as well. Thanks for stopping by and staying till the end. We'll talk about ChatGPT in the next video. Cheers. <laughs>